Welcome to It's Game Time. You may have noticed Jeff and I are in different locations. Jeff is in New Jersey. And Craig is in Rhode Island. We couldn't wait to get this one out, so we decided to do it long distance. In this episode, we we're going to show our final company logo. Pilot really came through for us on this one big time. In the last episode, Craig went over the second set of concept sketches and shared our feedback. So we had to pick one of these to move on. It was a tough decision. There were good things about all three, but in the end, we thought Concept A was the closest to a soaring rhino. As Craig said in his explanation, Pilot made some changes to this concept that we really liked, such as the position of the head and the new look of the eye. Pilot could now focus strictly on one concept. We were looking forward to what they were going to come up with. They got back to us with an awesome presentation, laying out the possible final logo. Here's what they showed us. We were really impressed. The logo is so simple and elegant, yet it has a lot of character. They showed the logo white on a dark background and black on a white background. They had two type options. They also had a neat color study. I was psyched. The logo looked awesome. Pilot then asked us some questions about what type we like and which color choices we thought were interesting. Pilot then went back and tweaked their concept to produce our final logo. So here we are, the final logo for Soaring Rhino, coming soon to a game box near you. We are really happy with the end product. We feel we have a logo that has a classic look, and as I said before, it is simple but has character. Pilot was great to work with. From our initial meeting to our final product, we really felt they had our best interest in mind. And wow, did they deliver. Well, that wraps up our little logo story arc. Stay tuned in the next episode for a glimpse at our first game. We'll leave you with a little graphic that shows the development of our logo from the initial sketch to the final product.